Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And finally, summarizing the topic of energy, power, and neither energy nor power thing. So let's say I give the heading to be summary. And these questions, these we will solve. Fine. So what is the summary is that for an energy signal, let's say I write over here for an energy signal, you have what? The energy is finite and the power is zero. Fine, energy is finite and power is zero. This is the basic definition. What are energy signals? The first and the most important case is finite duration signals are all energy signals. Finite duration signals. And the second is infinite extension signals. IES for infinite extension signals with decreasing amplitude. Decreasing amplitude. Which means what? Which means Converging signals. Converging. Now, what is infinite extension signal? So, I will tell you. Let me write it fully over here. Infinite extension signal. So, an infinite extension signal is a signal with a non zero amplitude throughout the time axis. Isn't it so? Non zero amplitude range is infinity. The non-zero amplitude range is infinity. Or you can write non-zero amplitude throughout throughout p axis. Or you can say that the non-zero amplitude range is infinity. I can write over here that the non-zero amplitude range is infinity. So these are infinite extension signals. Now if you have a signal, an infinite extension signal with decreasing amplitude, which means it is converging at some point, so that is an energy signal. Similarly, for neither energy nor power signal, neither energy nor power signal, you have what? You have the magnitude equal to infinity at any particular point. Magnitude is infinity. And similarly, you have infinite extension signals with increasing amplitude. You have infinite extension signal. This was the first point. This is the second. With increasing amplitude. So this is for neither energy nor power signal. Now, if a signal would not satisfy both of these conditions, that signal would be a power signal. Is that fine? So now we come to the examples. So have a look. X1, let's X1, the horizontal axis is T. Energy signal. This finite duration signal. This is a finite duration signal. This is energy. Finite duration. So which means that this is an energy signal. Fine. Similarly, let's say this is x2 of t. This is again a finite duration. Let's say from negative t1 to positive t1. It's existing. Let's say over here this is some value negative t. This is 0. So again this is a finite duration signal. This is also an energy signal. Alright. Now have a look for this one. This is an infinite extension signal. Have a look. The non-zero amplitude rate is infinity. It is non-zero throughout the time axis. And the amplitude is increasing. So this is what? The neither energy nor power. This I can write. This is let's say x3. So this is an infinite extension signal with amplitude increasing. So this is neither energy nor power signal. Okay. Now, x4. x4 is 1. Let's say this one is x4. So, it is an infinite extension signal. Amplitude is non-zero throughout the time axis, but the amplitude is constant. The amplitude is neither increasing nor decreasing. So, have a look. 
For energy signal, we have amplitude decreasing. For neither energy nor power, we have amplitude increasing. So, if the amplitude is constant, this means that this is a power signal. Is that fine? Okay. Now, coming to this one. X5. X5 of T. So, have a look. The amplitude is reaching infinity. The amplitude is reaching infinity at t is equal to 0. Magnitude is equal to infinity at t is equal to 0. So this means what? That this is a neither energy nor power signal. This is 1 over t as we saw in the previous video. Okay, now have a look at this one. This signal is converging. This is an infinite extension signal, but this is converging. Let's say x6. This is an infinite extension signal, but the amplitude is going towards zero. It is converging at one point. The amplitude is decreasing, which means that this is an energy signal. X7. Infinite extension, amplitude decreasing. Again, energy. X7. This is an energy. Why? Because the amplitude is decreasing and it is an infinite. Similarly, this one is amplitude, uh, an infinite extension signal. The amplitude is increasing in this particular case. Let's say x8 of t. So have a look. This is a neither energy nor power signal. And finally, for x9 of t, again the amplitude is decreasing. Infinite extension. Amplitude decreasing. So this is again an energy signal. So that's a power okay? So let me confirm from my notes. Finite duration, then this one is infinite extension, like the energy of power. Finite duration, but amplitude is neither increasing nor decreasing. So power, peak value is decreasing with time, so energy, neither. Yes, so that's about it, okay? That's about it. And do I have any other point to cover? Power signals. So let me, uh, yes, let me write this one point also. So I need some space. Let's say I remove this part of it. Okay, so if I tell you about periodic signals, periodic. No. These are not, uh, yes, periodic signals can, could be either uh, power signals or they could be neither energy nor power signals. And examples I have written over here for myself, so I will take it out. Uh, cause of T, sine of T, for example, you have cause of T, you have sine of T. And similarly over here you have, for example, you have a tangent of T that we discussed right now. Fine. Similarly, non-periodic, non-periodic signals. So they could be energy signals, they could be power signals, they could be neither energy nor power. And let's say for example you have exponential of negative 2 t u of t, examples are u of t is a power signal, similarly 1 over t, and a ramp signal R of T, which we will be discussing short. Finite duration signals. Finite duration signals. Could be energy signals. Could be neither energy nor power signals. Energy signal, I told you, let's say this is a finite duration signal, fine. Neither energy nor power have a look. Let's say it, it, it is in this link, but now it is approaching infinity. Similarly, it approaches infinity like that. So this is neither energy nor power signal. Isn't it so? And similarly, you have infinite extension signal. Infinite extension signal. So it could be energy signal. It could be a power signal. It could be neither. And I have listed example for myself, let's say, 
exponential of negative t u of t exponential of negative t u of t and u of t 1 over t squared r of t so that's about it now uh, you need to think about these examples okay i've given these examples we mostly have covered uh, most of them but you don't understand it you need to uh, think about it again so that's all about it for me about energy power neither energy nor power signals see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah with a two or three more basic signals definitely which we have one is a ramp signal you know parabolic signal i believe so two or three okay and then we move into system so that's all about it for me see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah then then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers goodbye